Cameron for Tweaks, I'm back for another video. We're here at the Ace Rock headquarters in Taipei. Uh, what we're looking at here is the Ace Rock Z77 OC formula. This is a board by Nick Schur, and it's designed, of course, for overclocking because he is a famous Taiwanese overclocker. But first of all, before we talk to Nick, uh, I want to introduce you to Chris, and Chris is going to uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the features of this board. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll open this up here, and then we can go over some. I of think we'll be going to start from the back side of the motherboard box. Okay. You can see that we actually on this main board we're mainly separate into three parts, three kits. We call that the power kit, the cooling kit, and the connector kit. It's all, you know, um, very 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 specific parts for these OC Formula series motherboards. Mm -hmm. Here you can see that here's a power kit. Includes five things. Start from the DG power. We're using the Chio solution, Chio A328 solution is for a digital PWM. Mm -hmm. And for the power phase, we have a 12 plus four CPU power phase design, which provides a very you know good and smooth um, CPU power. Mm -hmm. And for the choke and the capacitors and MOSFET, we're using this kind of a great quality components. Like the PAC is premium alloy choke. It's a um, new new quality choke, and comparing to the standard, you know, the iron powder choke, it can reduce up to seventy percent core loss. Mm -hmm. And for the capacitor, we have the multiple filter cap. We call that MFC. It's uh, combined with uh, three different kinds of uh, capacitors. You can see that this uh, graph. You can see that we have a uh, deep capacitors, which is mainly you know filter the low frequency noise. And the post cap is mainly for the you know the mid range, mid frequency noise, and the MLCC we target focus to filter the high frequency noise. Mm -hmm. So with these three different you know um, different caps can target on different different frequency noise. It can make sure the you know the CPU power is very clean. Yes. And we also have a DSM. We call that a dual stack MOSFET. It uh, integrates into you know two dies into one silicon into one uh, one MOSFET. So the larger the die area, the lower the RDS on, and the better better CPU efficiency. Okay. So these okay. all aid in you know producing a higher overclock. Exactly. Okay. What else is there to talk about? And except the power kit, we also have a cooling kit. You can see that the motherboard has a really cool CPU heatsink design. We call that a twin power cooling. It combines two different kinds of um, cooling solutions. We say that the water cooling is here, and also there's an active cooling fan on it. So it's the world's first to the twin power cooling solution for the motherboard. Mm -hmm. And also we have a layer, eight layer PCB design. You can see that on the, uh, right now on the market, the Z77 motherboard is mainly on for the four, six, uh, four layer PCB or six layer PCB. But on this, uh, you know, the OC oriented motherboard, we're using the eight layer PCB. And another special thing is among this eight layer PCB, four of them are two ounce copper based. So compared to others, they only have a two layer of the two ounce copper. So this is almost double the, you know, the copper. And also we have a Gelly GC Extreme Thermal Compound. It's free bundle for this motherboard because um, this, um, you know, this thermal paste is really good for the, especially for the, you know, low, low temperature overclocking, like the Extreme LN2, LN2 overclocking. With this thermal compound, it's not easy to, you know, to, to get, um, um, how's it, freeze. Yeah. So this one is really good for the you know the low temperature overclocking, okay. like the LN2. As tested by Nick, I'm sure. Okay, so well, Chris, thanks. Uh, for something more to talk about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, the connector kit. Yeah, that's part is connector <laughs> kit. Yeah, we Stuff have uh, two that. special things for the connector kit. This high density power connector. You can uh, compare to the standard connector, it can reduce 23% power loss and also decrease the con connected temperature up to 22 degrees Celsius. Because uh, uh, the pin is different from from the standard standard connector, you can see that here. Okay. And also for the CPU socket and uh, the dim slot is 15 mi gold finger inside. So compared to the you know the standard one is only three to four mi or maybe five mi is is a better one, but we have a 15 mi 15 mi um, gold finger. Okay. All right. So that's a this is the introduction to some of the main features. Now we're going to switch over and we're going to talk to Nick Shu about. Uh, what makes this a good overclocking board? Yeah. Okay, so here we have Nick Schur. Um, Nick, 
I could introduce you, but I think it'd be better coming from you. Please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Nick Shi. I'm from Taiwan, and I'm a professional overclocker. And now I work for Asrock around uh, seven months. And I'm so happy to work here because everyone is trying to make the model become better. So that is why Asrock getting almost the best in the world right now. Yeah. So I'm also happy to see that my baby is born right now. You see that. <laughs> The Z77 OC formula. Yeah, yep. and this is also the first overclocking multiple from ASRock. Okay, Nick, yeah. tell, tell us why you, uh, you and ASRock designed this motherboard. Uh, actually, ASRock didn't have a such kind of product before. I mean, the product focused on overclocking ability and all focus on the performance only. So we tried to uh, build another uh, product line which focused on overclocking and also focus on the performance, yeah, and also provide user, users for the best reliability, yeah. Okay, um, and a lot, of, a, lot of your, a lot of your design and, uh, mm -hmm. has gone in, you've worked with the engineers on this mm -hmm. board um, mm -hmm. because you have a lot of overclocking experience. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now can you, can you tell us why, mm -hmm. what makes this a good overclocking motherboard? Okay, sure, so maybe we can, okay. let me check the motherboards first. Okay, open it up. Oh, even the box is so reliable. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Yeah. So you can see that the monobos. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like Chris uh, mentioned about the, the features on this monobo. So you can see that we get all the benefits from the power kit. You can in whatever the power phase and also the, the uh, alloy choke and, and also the cap, three kinds of cap we used. So the benefit we get from the power kit make the, the, the power solution, the PWM from of this motherboard is very strong. Mm -hmm. The efficiency is up to around 97%. Oh. Yeah, so, so, so what it make, it, you can make the power consumption lower and also make the temperature lower and also make the like your, your, your CPU can overclock much higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and we also have the, the special connector kit. Uh, we, don't, we don't see such kind of product on other competitive uh, products before, mm -hmm. but it's happened on the Asrock Malibu right now. So that is why Asrock tried to build a special product line, just focus on the performance and overclocking. Okay. And we also, we also have the cooling kit, we survey the best, the thermal compound for the, the liquid nitrogen is the best one, and also the edge layer PCB. And you have to try to know that we, we, each layer with the two arms, not, not just only one layer or two layers, it's each layer. And the special designs here. If I use my light, maybe we can see it better. Yeah, you can see that each layer present the, the numbers on each layer. Mm, so, so we like, can actually see it here. Yeah, yeah. So it's truly eight layer PCB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, uh, besides of the hardware design, we pro we provide you the best hardware design, also the component. But we also provide provide the best the software, and we have the fine tune V controller. It means that we have about four hundred or five hundred steps of the, the the voltage control, like the five millivolt each steps and also my personal OC profile and you can change the different profile for the air cooling and also in including the liquid nitrogen profile. Okay, and inter interactive UEFI, yeah, it is the more popular right now and we also support the Windows A, the fast boot and the best overclocking tool like the OC formula drive and we also have the thermal sensor. You can. You can you can have the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. We have eleven sensors on your motherboards, so you can check if some of your part the temperature is going much higher, and you can check maybe something is going wrong. Mm. So you can check the the healthy of your own system. A good, a really good deal of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. monitoring. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a very 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 good design for the motherboards. Mm -hmm. And we also have the V probe. You can check. You can check the voltage of each part, and you can see the, the tables here. So, according to the table, 
you can check the, the voltage of the each component, like the, the PCH, like your CPU voltage, memory voltage, VTT, VCCSA, yeah. etc. And I noticed we have Rapid OC here. What, yeah. what, what does this do? Rapid OC, it is, it is very good function for whatever uh, air cooling overclocking or even liquid nitrogen overclocking because we have the software to to, to to match this rapid OC, you can choose you want to overclock the B clock or ratio or CPU voltage right now. Mm -hmm. And you can change very quickly with the hard key. Yeah. So it and also it's with very very low loading of the system. Mm -hmm. So even you overclocking very high, but it still make your system stable. Yeah, that is the benefit we get from the Rapid OC. And I noticed another feature, PCIe on off. What, where, where is that, and what does it do? Yeah, it it is very useful. I, uh, for example, uh, you, you you like to play games, and you install about three VGA cards, something like six eighty, the Nvidia six eighty or ATI seventy nine seventy. Then you use the three way crossfire or three way SOI. But when you when you don't want to do like like you, you just want to do paperwork, then you don't want to play games, then you can disable the last two VGA cards to save the power, to, to get lower power consumption of your system. Okay. Yes, that is total cut of the, the power from of the car. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen this before. In, yeah, yeah, your, yeah. in your testing, do you know roughly how, how much power is reduced? Do you know how many and normally watts? Normally, if you use the 680, the each car will generate around 180 or 200 watt. Mm -hmm. So if forwarding of your system with three-way SOI, maybe the power consumption will up to around 800 watt or even 900 watt. Okay. But that is just for gaming, right? Or, or for some video editing. Yeah. But if you just do want, want to do some paperwork or view some internet, then you can try to close the the last mm -hmm. last two VGA. And you can then you you are the single single car mode right now. Okay. But then you don't have to remove the VGA car from your system. Oh, okay. Or from your case. I yeah. understand. Yeah, I more understand. convenient, right? Okay, okay. But the the main the main purpose to build this function is for liquid nitrogen OC. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you when you doing SOI the liquid nitrogen benching, and you don't need some of them, or you want to check which car has problems, then you you can use the different combinations. To check, oh, maybe I, I can check the start tool right now. Then you mm. don't have to remove another tool. And the other point would be maybe if you're doing extreme overclocking with LN2 yeah. and you're, you're doing a CPU benchmark, yeah. disabling more components sure. would, would sure. result in better stability, right? Sure, sure, sure. So that's sure, another sure. good feature, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Nick, to finish, can you can you tell us the price? I mean, it looks like a board like this, all these high quality components would be expensive, but we actually know the price. But tell tell everyone, tell everyone the price, <laughs> and then finish with whatever you yeah, want to say. Yeah, actually, because the lot gamers and enthusiasts try to find the best model in the world right now, but so we provide the best price around two thirty US dollars uh, on new egg. I think this is very good product at uh, price because. You can see we, we include in lots of features of that and also give you the best choice and we can check the well, there is accessories. The accessories, we have. yes. Yeah. Maybe I think Chris <coughs> can try to introduce the oh, Chris, could you yeah. talk about some of the I think one thing I want I want I would like to correct the Nick, Nick's talking is uh, on New Egg we we have a very good price. It's like a two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. Okay, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, so still, still a very good price, price I think. Yeah. yeah. So what was we have a very good bag to you know include everything, every accessories for this motherboard. Yes. And uh, this is the one thing we just highlight. We thermal you know price. have a free bundle with a th um, thermal compound from. Uh, Gallic G6 Stream, yes. and we have uh, you know the from USB 3 panel. Yes. And another interesting thing I want to show you is kind of like this one. This is what we call the OC stands. Right. We on, on each motherboard we have a uh, ten OC stands for each motherboard, mm -hmm. and people can just easily to put yeah. this stand into the screw hole here. I don't know why anyone no hasn't done yeah. this before. It's a really good idea. Yeah, this yeah. is really good. This is really good. Yeah. Because um, people can just you know to to. It's a kind of like a simple bench table. Yeah. So people can and obviously, easily. Obviously, it'll be high enough so you can still exactly. install, you can install your the VGA card, card yeah. without any conflict with uh, your table kind yeah. of things. And also, it's good for the you know the heat dissipation because the backside is um, you know have a small distance from the table. 
Yeah, so this one's really good. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Chris, and uh, thank you, Nick, uh, for introducing the, the new uh, Z77 OC formula. Uh, we're taking, actually, this board home with us, um, and Shane's going to do a review, so expect that fairly soon. Uh, and until then, uh, come back again soon for more video content from Tweaks Home. All right, thanks, Cam. Thanks, everybody. Bye.